Hi everyone, Laura at Broken Wind. Violet progress is happening. I can see the end is in sight. Well, it has to be because the deadline's in like two weeks' time. <laughs> but I have sanded away my fingers and a lot of violet, and we're finally at 1200 grit. So I'm now in a position where I can do some staining and some actual finishing. Um, yeah, relief. I'm pleased. Um, I've done some different effects, I'm hoping will be effects once I add the stain with the sand and I'll show you those in a second and then I'm hoping to crack on with my neck in this next week, get that done and all the fretting sorted which should hopefully then leave me in a position to finish and do all the electrics as well. Fingers crossed, not long, crunch time. Guess what? It's nearly midnight! Again, yeah, nice and smooth, 1200 grit. You obviously can't feel it, but trust me, that's lovely. Um, some bits I've purposely, oh, not on the front, let me show you the back. I've purposely, they're still smooth and I've gone down to 1200 all over, but I have purposely left some little 400, not 400, let me try that again, 40 grit um, markings in the hope that when I add the stain, that will. Be, oh, there we go, that's a better view. You can see in here. Um, hopefully that will give a bit of fur-like texture around the ears particularly. And a little, little bit on the bum as well. Um, if not, then I'm going to be gutted because I'm going to have to sand again. But I'm hoping it's going to provide a bit of texture while feeling smooth, she says. Right, so I'm about to do a bit of staining, add some colour to violet. I have some various implements, bits of kitchen roll, I'm gloved up. Um, this is using the Stunning Stains um, Amber to give the different shading colours. Um, I've done her tail already, she's had a couple of coats because I want that to be darker. Um, and plate as well um, and then what I'm going to try and do is sort of shade it around a bit um, to be like that of an actual cow um, <laughs> I've been doing a bit of research I was just saying before um, to my other half that if someone were to confiscate my phone for any reason at the minute the um, search history <laughs> Oh, my internet is a little bit dubious with uh, multiple cow bums and eyes and ears and various cow body parts to try and get the colours right. <laughs> so here goes, let's hope uh, it pays off a bit of research, we'll soon see. I'm just going to use a bit of water to try and soften the line here because I don't actually want anything really near her tail. Turns out cows' bums are, well Jersey cows' bums, are quite pale. This has just got water in it. Um, it's being temperamental which is perfect timing. Okay. Um, and I am going to oil this as well so the oil will actually make a bit darker than it is. Just try and blend a little bit. It's already starting to dry. It's 
quite impressive. Probably been sucked in there like a uh, sponge after all the sanding. I did find with the um, tail I've had to go over on with 1200 grit again because all the little fibres went ping and stood up to attention so I uh, far sand those back off so I'm sure I'm going to have to do the same before then oiling her. Aha! That's starting to look pretty cool. It's slightly mottly which I like. Let me see if I can show you better. There we are, look. It's kind of funky. I'm kind of hoping that she... Oh, sorry, I have to put my thumb over the camera there. That's completely unhelpful. Um, I'm hoping that, in a way, that she might dry slightly blotchy, actually. Might be a bit more realistic. Here we go. Do some staining on her face and her body. I'm actually wanting her body to be quite, I should think I'll start on the ears. Her body's relatively pale as is a lot of her nose and things, but I do around the ears. I think I might leave the inside of the ears actually slightly pale. Er, uh, paler, I should say. Um, Around the eyes, I don't want to have any at all. I want that to be the beach. And then I want this middle bit in between her eyes to be darker, so I might actually do a second coat of stain on that, depending how this dries. So um, I've just gone over her with some 1200, taken all the little standy yuppy burrs off from the stain going into the wood, and now I'm going to tackle her eyes. So what I've done, this is the little, I think I showed you a little bit that I did the other day. See the light catching there. This is a little experimental combo of rear guard shielding paint followed by undiluted stunning stains, black obviously, followed by, this just had one coat of oil on it. And it does give a little sheen and a twinkle and hopefully add that glint in her eye. And that's what I'm going to go for. So. Yeah, got some nice little artist brushes and this is going to be her actual eye ball and then the bit surrounding her eye where we would have like the pink bit where you might put your eyeliner on, gents, um, all you prog rockers, um, that's going to be stunning stains black in there and then the bit around the outside is just beach which will be oiled so you have the contrast there so let's see if I can put theory into practice.
So I've just managed to have a parenting win and my son nodded off in the car on the way home this morning and then I managed to do the delicate bomb disposal carry up the stairs to his bed and he's still asleep so I've managed to have a quick change and into my you know fabulous attire that you're used to seeing me in but trust me I do own nicer things than old hoodies and board shorts um, and um, do a little cheeky half an hour hopefully while he stays asleep got my uh, monitor that we hope we don't hear him on um, and I think I've probably just got enough time to maybe give Violet her first coat of oil quite excited hopefully the grain will pop out and look lovely and stain will look lovely and hopefully she'll just be lovely just realized that I was a bit of a donut and was all excited ready to oil her up but I hadn't actually drilled the holes for her knobs um, so I'm gonna do that first so you've just seen me put in my side dots which were just steel I got the idea of using those on my last build um, which for my brother-in-law because he's from Sheffield so we did Sheffield steel maybe poetic license on the sides and the jersey granite on the front for my sister and Tim as a marriage which was a little sentimental touch from me um, so it was really easy to use same again um, job done you can see there Quite pleased with that. Um, it'll be a bit more finishing once I've done the fret work, obviously from finishing the sides. And um, shaped the neck. Quite pleased with the profile there. And went through all the grades. We're now at 1200 grit. And on my Orma as well. There we go. So yeah, um, next job is fret work. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now. Love you and leave you. And um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share on social media, all the normal jazz. And I will see you probably another couple of days where we'll have tackled the frets here and oiled up violet. And yeah, home stretch hopefully. The end is nigh. So thank you very much and see you soon.